So I am here again with a chess up board. And you may have seen in previous videos, I used uh, some other features using assistance and playing Levon Aronian. But in this video, I am going to play an OTB game against an online opponent. And the way this will work is I search for a game on WeChess. I'm going to do a 5 plus 5 casual game. And I have the app open here, uh, as you can see, and just got a game against Swans Blah. Play e4. And turn the volume down. So the app is connected to the board via Bluetooth. And whenever I touch a piece, it'll show legal moves. I'm not getting any extra assistance beyond that. And when my opponent makes a move, as we see, it will light up and I'll make the move for my opponent. So this is a very different feel compared to using a mouse and, uh, and looking at a, a 2D screen. Um, it feels like I'm more of invested in the game. Uh, so here we have a, a Grand Prix attack still following some kind of opening theory. Um, now I do have the game on a, on my laptop. I am watching the game to capture it, uh, for this overlay. My opponent is rated 2068. Opponent's actually playing what, uh, very similar to what Danny Wrench played against me in the speed chess championship match, uh, in our first game. And the ideas for white are pretty simple here. Like go for the kingside attack. Queen h4, f5, bishop h6, knight g5. Now, there's no drawing arrows OTB, so I, I do have to visualize. Uh, d5 is a move. We'll start with king h1. Try and remain flexible. Bishop a6. Yeah, bishop a6 aligns with the rook. Sometimes there's ideas of c4 for black. I think now is probably a good time to play e5. Just shut down the bishop on g7. And if pawn c4, I can play pawn d4. And we're entering a more kind of closed position. I've given up on playing f5. Uh, there's other kind of pawn advanced idea for white. But things can be more positional here. The idea is to play knight a4, pawn b3, c4, and really target the, the c5 pawn. Yeah, let's go for... Yeah, so I can see all the legal moves for my knight. Let's go for knight a4. So hitting the pawn on c5. If I touch the pawn, we can see one legal move. Um, there is a setting on Lee Chess where you can, uh, can turn on like legal moves when you touch a piece. Oh, so we do see c4 here. Um, yeah, if I play d4, there's a uh, pawn c3 hitting the rook. Interesting. Let's start with knight c5. Counterattacking the bishop. And if bishop b5, I have a4. So rook b6. Or no, queen b6. Ah. I have to pay attention to what's lit up. Queen b6 is a very playable move. I'll play bishop e3. Essentially completing development, aligning my bishop with the queen. And now I'm threatening knight takes e6. Discovered attack against the queen. The queen's also tied down to the bishop on a6. So this is looking... Very appetizing for white. It seems like I'll be winning some material pretty soon. Like, what does black even do here? Queen b5, a4. Should check the time. Up on time, up about 20 seconds. Oh, 
And this is actually pretty good training for OTB. Uh, for those that play online exclusively, if you're looking to get into tournament chess, you should really be training uh, using a physical board because it's just a different feel looking at uh, three-dimensional pieces and just getting comfortable with uh, seeing the whole board, practicing your board vision. You see bishop f8, maybe setting up for the next game. So I could still play knight takes e6, hitting the queen. But knight e4 also looks like really attractive here. I'm going to play knight e4. I'm not interested in winning a pawn just yet. But I'm interested in targeting the dark squares. E6, uh, not E6, D6 and, and F6. I should probably turn off my notifications. Uh, that's another thing, when you're playing chess online or over the board, you should minimize distractions. Put your phone in do not disturb mode. Oh no, my pawn. I forgot that was hanging. Queen digs b2. What is this? I mean, I have so many juicy looking moves. There's knight f6, knight d6. This is where you should not get too excited. You should just stay calm and Try and calculate the best option. Knight f6 forces king d8. And then probably queen a5 winning with bishop. Yeah, let's do that. Queen a5, it's a very important move to see. It's, uh, usually in this line, I, I play queen e1 to go to h4. But uh, nice, when the queen is centralized, it can access both sides of the board. And the problem for black is uh, the bishop is controlling b6. So there's no rook b6. There is rook b6, actually, but then I take. Or actually, if rook b6, I play rook b1. Even stronger. Black is in big trouble here. Opponent, uh, yeah, down a bit, about a minute on the clock. But uh, that's probably the, the least of their problems here. Might as well adjust the pieces. We have king to c8. The obvious move, of course, is queen takes a6, but always look for stronger. But queen a6 does the job. Expecting rook b7 or queen b7. Now, it's very important because usually uh, a lot of players are told that when you're up material, you should trade. But there's another general rule in chess is that when you're attacking, your opponent's king is less safe. You should avoid the queen trade. And uh, definitely want to keep queens on the board here. Keeping queens on the board should allow things to finish quicker. Now the question is, what am I threatening? Knight f5, a7 is looking vulnerable. But if I take on a7, again, we're not playing touch move. You can see the legal moves. Bishop takes a7, there's rook a8. Considering rook b1 here. Rook b1, queen b1, trade, trade. Give away two rooks for the queen. How's my time? Falling below two minutes. What if I play something like bishop f2? Bishop f2, bishop b4, queen a4. Play bishop f2. At some point, I would just want to play g4. Kick away the knight. And now I'm targeting c6 with the queen. 
So queen on b7 is tied down to c6. And if queen b5, I win a7. And now I do want to play rook b1 next. And it's nice being up a piece, up on time. Bishop c3. Oh, there's a funny line. Okay, I'm going to play rook b1. Allowing queen takes b1. Which looks decent at first. Queen b1, rook b1, rook b1. Opponent's not falling for it, though. If queen b1, I would have taken on c6. Made in two. Opponent's resisting. Let's take the rook. And just, just. Rook b1, king a8. Rook b1, king a8, bishop b6. I mean, looks like there's so many good moves here. Play queen a3. Essentially trapping the bishop. Queen a3, queen a5. Uh, choices, choices. Wait, rook b1, bishop a7. Oh, it's a nice line. Okay, rook b1. I feel like it's more satisfying to play nice lines over the board. Get that satisfaction of seizing your opponent's pieces and pawns. And maybe king. So the idea is if queen a7, I take on c6. And I'm threatening, just threatening any bishop move, basically. So bishop a5. Now I have bishop b6 anyway. Creating the pin on the a-file. Forking the queen and bishop. Take the bishop on a5. And my opponent has resigned. Uh, yeah, just to show if king b8... I would play checkmate. And we get the cool cool effects. So anyway, uh, I hope people enjoy this. Let me know if you have any feedback. This is uh this is very new to play OTB against an online opponent. Um, I think this is a, a really cool product. Uh, very curious what people think. Leave your thoughts below. And if you're interested in learning more about chess up. Uh, be sure to take a look at links in the description. Uh, I do have a special offer for my viewers. You can use coupon code ROSEN to save on your chess up order. And uh, stay tuned for more OTD content.